Hello, El Capitan. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing your next 48. This is episode 19 and 20 for El Capitan, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node. Let's see what the messages are. All right, El Capitan, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node. Okay, so these cards are falling out. Let's see what the message is. We have the Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So it looks like you're missing a water sign or you're missing someone from your past. All right. I'm getting like you're you're kind of in a dark place, Cappy. You're feeling sad. You're missing them. There was some type of betrayal here, cheating. Yeah, I'm getting there was a, definitely a third-party situation. It, it's almost like something was beginning to blossom and it, it, it just... It just went left because of a third party or, or somebody lied or somebody betrayed the other person. Okay, I'm getting like you're dreaming about, I don't know, I feel like you're, you're like in a dream state here with all this blue. It's like you're dreaming about them, dreaming about kissing them, being with them. I'm getting you have spent a lot of time in nature with this person or this person likes nature, so do you. I'm getting someone is like your baby. Like this person's like your baby. Like, man, I miss my baby. Like, aw. It's like when this person gets around you, it's like, hey, baby. Like, aw. Only a little. It's like this person's like your boo boo. Like your boo, your baby here. So this person could be younger than you because the Six of Cups represents, you know, someone younger, someone youthful, a child. All right. Someone that you see as someone that needs to be taken care of or, or looked after. All right, I'm getting you miss them. All right, let's see what else comes out. This could be your actual child. Okay, or maybe um, this could be a woman and a child come together. Okay, so maybe I'm, I'm getting you could be thinking about your your wife, your spouse, and your children or your child or you're missing your, your child and your spouse or something like that or you're wanting children with someone. Okay, so let's see. El Capitan... What are the messages? All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm getting you're thinking about some, I'm, I'm getting you're thinking about cheating. Maybe you cheated or they did. It's like, damn, I can't believe I did that to my baby. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles. That's your energy, Capricorn. That's the fourth, th third deacon of your sign. So it looks like you're holding on to this. You don't want to let this go. You don't want to let this partnership go you don't want to let this marriage go this person go this you don't you don't want to let the past is like you can't let the past go you don't want to let it go okay so i'm getting something you could have said capricorn maybe hurt somebody's feelings maybe you were too controlling or too possessive or too serious with someone because i'm getting you're dealing with someone who's younger than you because this is definitely you sitting there okay the fatherly type this could be your child you said something hurtful to your child and made them cry or I don't know. Something you said that was a little bit too stern. This could be a child or a loved one. Yeah, I'm getting your words. You said something that was very sharp. Because I'm, I'm kind of getting like you overthink love. You're too cool. You're too nonchalant. You're too laid back. And someone does not know that you how much you love them because you come off very serious and you know, you give advice and you come off very intellectual. But someone's like, okay, well, I guess you don't love me because you didn't mention love one time in that whole conversation. It's almost like you need to like relax a little bit, Cappy. You're coming off very serious, like a little bit possessive. And I'm getting like somebody wants maybe for you to hold them, hold their hand, hug them, rub their hair, do something romantic. Cause I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting all you do is kind of give demands. Like you're coming off as someone's father or like someone that someone who's very hard to approach. Yeah. We have the queen of wands. Yeah, I'm getting the same person here. So definitely a fire sign. You're, you're coming off to be a little bit of an asshole. Yeah, we have the, the Prince of Cups. Yeah, but I'm getting it's not easy for you to open up. It's like, damn, I have to show my emotions again. Yes, every day. It's a relationship or especially if it's a child. It's like, you know, maybe you have to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, comforting or something. I feel like you give, I feel like you show very little emotion and it comes off like rigid or something. All right, let's see. Yeah, we have the moon card. Yeah, it's like you don't, you hold back your feelings. You hold back your emotions. You hold back feeling anything. This is your opposite sign, Cancerian. Getting you, you're, you're really coming off as an asshole, like very dry, boring, dead, emotionless. 
Okay, yeah, we have the two of swords. Yeah, indifferent, nonchalant, indecisive. It's I'm, I don't know. You're you're coming off. Yeah, the t I'm, you're you're coming off too cool here. I'm getting if you love someone, let them know, and or if you if you find someone to be attractive and sexy, let them know. I'm getting to you are you are very critical of this person, their looks, how they dress, or what they're doing, or you're very quick to give advice or like where it's not warranted or where it's random. It's like what the hell are you talking about? I'm asking you about my dress or I'm asking you about my hair, and you're you're giving me advice about the fireplace or something stupid, something crazy. Getting, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting you're coming off too serious here or like too unbothered, too nonchalant, but I'm getting it to turn off. Like it's really turning somebody off because it's like you have no passion, you have no lust, you have no enthusiasm, no excitement. It's like, where is the passion in this reading? I'm getting you're coming off boring. Okay, let's, let's go around again for you. <laughs> I'm getting you don't even care. You're like, man, you're like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> When I'm getting like you are, you're coming up like a, a complete bore. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. Yeah, it's like because you're trying to be cool about something. I'm getting you're giving, I'm getting you've been watching someone or giving somebody the side eye. It's like, it's like you don't say anything. You just, you just give them this look. You're like, you're like, okay, why are you looking at me, Cap? You're like, because, but it's like, you're like, man, you are so beautiful. You're so sexy. You're like the woman of my dreams. But you don't say that out loud. You just stare at them or you give them like this creepy look or something i'm getting you're looking at somebody in a very creepy way but it's almost like this is your way of saying i love you by giving them this stoic look or gat or like glaring at them or oogling them from across the room but it's like you don't really say anything you kind of just sit there and oogle them with this look in your eye you know you may say something you may say something like yeah you, you know you sexy right you know i love you right okay but I'm getting something. There's something that needs to happen here. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I'm getting I'm getting you are really admiring someone, Capricorn. You admire someone for being a great mother, for being sexy, for taking care of you, for being a good housekeeper. I'm getting you like to watch someone you like to watch someone clean your house. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is so Capricorn. Like, oh my God, that's so practical. But I'm getting like, you like to clean the house. You like, you feel like it's sexy when someone cleans your house or when someone does your laundry or when someone takes care of you, when you like to watch someone cook for you. It's like, this is, these are the things that you find to be sexy Capricorn. Like when someone is like, I don't, this is crazy. Prince of Cups. Yeah. The Princess of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm getting a family. Okay. I'm getting your, with your family. Okay, I'm getting you want you uh, either you have a child with this person or you can you see your you see this person having your child. I'm getting you see this person walking around your house with sexy things on with your baby maybe being pregnant. I'm getting you're like imagining this. You're like, "Yeah, you can I want you to have my baby. I want to have a baby with you or you're watching them with with your child and you love the you love how they are with your children or you love how they are with their children. Somebody's a good mother and you like that." Okay, what's the moon card? Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, another matching pair. Okay. So I'm getting you and this person are on the same page. You guys want the same thing. It's almost like you don't have to say you love them. They just know that you love them. They can feel that you love them. Love goes without saying in this in this relationship. It's like, man, you know I love you, right? You know I love you, girl. And she's like, yeah, I know. I know you love me. It's almost like you don't voice your love, but they do. But it's like, it's almost like they say, I love you too. Like you, you give them that look and they say, I love you too. It's like, they know they have a, they understand you. They know what, they know what you mean. So I'm getting, you have an understanding with this person. It may come off as boring or rigid to other people, but I'm getting you and this person have an understanding. All right. There's a lot of love in this relationship. Two of swords. Yeah. We have the death card. Yeah. No more, no more being indecisive. No more being indifferent. You know what you want. You know who you want. You know who you love and what you love. I'm getting this person is your dream come true and you are, you're not letting them go. Like, you mean, I will never let you go. I will never leave you. This is for life. All right. So, so I'm getting like you're just looking at them and I'm like, you know, you're, I'm getting like you're very grateful for what you have or who you're with. Yes, you are very much in love with this person. I'm getting your loyalty is through the roof. Like you will never leave them. You, you are very much captivated by them. You're in love with them. 
Okay, this could be a lover. I'm getting you're falling in love with someone. You decided what you want to do because the death card is like change, transformation. I'm getting somebody has changed. Somebody has really matured and grown up. And it's like, you, it's like wow, I can't believe how much you've grown. This could be your kid. Or wow, I can't believe how much we've grown in this relationship. I, you know, I just can't believe that I still, I'm still so much in love with you. What's the temperance? Yeah, we have the prince of, uh, the prince of swords. So you could be telling somebody this for the first time. I'm getting this. I'm getting it may come as a surprise to you or the other person how much you've changed or how much they have changed. You're, you're like telling somebody, man, you really changed. You're so mature. You're so beautiful. Look how much you're glowing. All right. So I'm getting you're telling somebody this, how much you love them. And I'm getting when you say this, it's very serious, it's very stoic, it's very heartfelt, it's very sensual. All right. And I'm getting somebody is, somebody is returning, you know, somebody is, there's an equal exchange of love here. Like, oh my God, I love you too. I love you so much. Okay. I'm getting like somebody loves you so much. Okay. What's the prince of so princess of swords? Somebody could have been afraid to say this before, but I'm getting now someone is like, someone's like, look, I don't care. I just, I, I'm so in love with you. I love you so much. I'm getting two tears. Like both of you guys are crying. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm getting like both of you guys are crying because the love is so strong. The connection is so strong. You've never felt like this about anyone. Okay. You just, you just really love this person, Cappy. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's the death card? I'm getting this person, I'm getting this person came into your life and changed you. I'm getting two that could be a new baby or talks about a new baby, a new relationship. Like I'm getting your, you want to be serious about this person. It's like, look, I know we just met and I know we just started dating, but I, I I'm really, I really love you. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know why I just love you so much. Yeah. So I'm getting like, maybe before you were afraid to express this love, but I'm getting now you don't care. You want the, you want the whole world to know. All right, what is, what is the death card and the two of swords? The two of swords and the death card, please. I'm getting your, I'm getting two, Cappy, you're getting older. You are maturing. Yeah, we have the eight of cups. Yeah, no more walking away, no more abandoning you. It's like, I'm getting two, somebody's apologizing for abandoning you or walking away when you needed them. Okay, because it looks like somebody... Now, it looks like somebody walked away because you refused to express your love or you refused to open up or you refused to be genuine. Somebody did not feel the connection. So it looks like somebody walked away. It's like, look, no more. I'm, I'm never going to leave you again. I promise I'll never abandon you again. I promise I'll never let you walk away from me again. You're not walking away from me again. Yeah, so I'm getting somebody abandon you or you abandon someone or you allow somebody to walk away because you would not share how you felt. Okay, what is the, the moon card, queen of cups? This is the moon card and the queen of cups, please. This is, this is so sweet. Like, I feel like you realize how much you love someone and that you don't want to lose them ever again. Okay, we have the prince of wands. Yeah, a message. Very. I'm getting you've been carrying this burden. You've been watching them. I'm getting you want to do the right thing. I'm getting also getting to you want to be married. You want marriage. Okay, you're growing up. You're getting older. It's like, it's like your value systems are changing or you, it's like you value marriage now where you once, where you did not before, or you value relationships or you value, you know, expression, you know, opening up, saying, I love you. Okay. Being genuine, being honest, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting like, this is going to make someone very happy to hear you say these things because I'm getting, you normally do not do this. This is not your, this is not your typical response. But I'm getting somebody, it took somebody walking away or abandoning you. And it's almost like, okay, wow, I, I do not want to lose this person. It's a burden not being with you. Like life is so much heavier when you're, you know, because somebody's not around. All right, so let's pull some love cards. This is a very um, beautiful reading. All right, let's see. Love cards for a Cancerian, please. Yeah, we have stay optimistic, okay? Yeah, so, so I'm getting release your expectations, stay positive. All right, because I'm getting like you could be afraid of expressing your emotions. Of course you are. You are an earth sign. It's just a little bit foreign to you. But, you know, you do have Cancerian on the opposite of you. So I'm getting attractive. Someone's going to find it to be very attractive that, you know, this is, your, this is your soulmate. You can tell them anything. You can open up. You can express yourself to them. It's okay. 
I'm getting someone's going to find you to be incredibly sexy because you're being emotional. You're being sensitive. You're being loving. Someone likes that. Because if you're dealing with a fire, if you're dealing with a fire sign, they have a lot of passion for you, desire. They like they like that attention from you. They like that. They like when you say I love you. They like when you express yourself. That turns them on. All right, we have true love. Yeah, some this is this is true love. Okay, I'm getting you. Don't have to be afraid of this person, or you don't have to feel apprehensive. This person truly and honestly, genuinely loves you. They care for you. And I'm getting you know that, Capricorn. You know how much this person truly loves you, even if they don't always say it to you or they don't always express it to you. I'm getting you feel the love. Yeah, forgiving and learning, all right? So I'm getting, if this is someone that you've already dealt with, let the situation be new. Heal the past, let the past go. I'm getting like somebody wants your forgiveness or you want someone to forgive you, maybe for being mean or rigid or stubborn or just being cantankerous. All right, we have wedding, yeah. And that's what I was getting. This could be someone that you're already someone that you're already married to. All right, and you don't want to lose this relationship. This is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. But I'm getting if you're not married by law, a very serious commitment is coming up. Somebody is serious about you. Somebody wants to be married. Somebody wants you in their life for the long haul. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this helps you. Beautiful reading, Capricorn. All right. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.